What if a single song could serve as a gateway into the depths of human consciousness, exploring the intricate dance between our darkest fears and our highest aspirations? What would happen if humans evolved into a higher space and reached enlightenment? Could they do it with the 46 and 2 esoteric theory? Tool's complex narrative delves into the shadows of our psyche, tapping into ancient philosophies and modern psychology. But what does it really mean? Forty six and two delves into a range of complex ideas, drawing on psychological, spiritual, and esoteric concepts. The song was written by Maynard James Keenan, who is known for his thought provoking lyrics. It's a track that showcases personal transformation and evolution. It takes the listener through a journey of self discovery and showcases a personal struggle to overcome inner demons. The lyrics immediately hit us with Carl Jung's shadow concept. Jung was a renowned Swiss psychiatrist, psychotherapist, and psychologist who coined the concept of the shadow, a part of the unconscious mind that contains repressed weaknesses, desires, and instincts. In short, the shadow is the self's emotional blind spot. It contains all the parts of ourselves that we deem to be unacceptable and are therefore relegated to the dark part of the unconscious mind. This opening verse sees Maynard directly referencing his shadow. This unconscious aspect of his personality does not correspond with his ego ideal, leading the ego to resist and project the shadow. This shadow is his disowned and rejected self. This concept was represented well before Jung, most notably in the famous literary piece Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, where Mr. Hyde represents the repressed evil urges of the self. However, Jung believed that confronting and integrating the shadow into the conscious mind was essential for personal growth and self-awareness, and this is what Maynard is doing right here. Just as the song kicks off, he acknowledges his shadow and is peeling back its protective layer, symbolized by its shedding skin. In his transformation, he is having to deal with his own wounds and traumas. We can clearly see this personal and introspective growth in the story tool shapes. This most prominently seen in the song's second verse and the chorus. But the question is now, what is all of this for? Why is Maynard confronting his shadow? This is where we leave the idea of the shadow aside for a while and we enter into the esoteric world of Dronvalo Malhensidek, which introduced the concept of 46 and 2. Malhensidek stated that there are three totally different kinds of humans on Earth, meaning that they perceive the one reality in three different ways. The first kind of human has a chromosome composition of 42 plus 2. They comprise a unity consciousness that does not see anything outside themselves as being separate from themselves. To them, there is only one energy, one life, one beginness that moves everywhere. Anything happening anywhere is within them as well. They are like cells in the body, they are all connected to a single consciousness that moves through all of them. Then there is our level, comprising 44 plus 2 chromosomes. Note that we, Homo sapiens, have 23 pairs of chromosomes, totaling 46. However, two of those chromosomes are sex chromosomes, thus 44 plus 2. But let's continue with my Hiltzedek's ideas. He said that we are a disharmonic level of consciousness that is used as a stepping stone from the 42 plus 2 level to the next level, the 46 plus 2. We are dangerous to both ourselves and nature but we are necessary, and according to him, this can be seen within the various geometries. This evolution is symbolic of a higher state of being or spiritual ascension. The 46 and 2 concept is tied to the idea of a shift in human consciousness, where individuals move beyond duality into a more integrated holistic state of being. 
This shift is often described as transcending the ego and embracing a more unified, spiritually enlightened perspective. So this is what Maynard wants to achieve. This is why he's confronting his shadow. He wants to grow as a person, to become a better man, and be in a better place personally. This place represented by the 46 and 2 idea. Maynard is facing his shadow, his inner demons and struggles, in order to grow as a person. He acknowledges both positive and negative aspects of life, love, learning and growth, but also fear, hate and deceit. These contradictions are part of the process of confronting the shadow. One must face and integrate all aspects of self in order to evolve. Finally, as the track ends, Maynard fully embraces the change that is taking place within him. He's internalizing his external influences and he's finally growing as a person, symbolized by reaching the 46 and 2 level. I'd like to add that even though Jung's shadow theory has been studied and followed by several people in the field of analytical psychology, Malhitsedek's 46 and 2 theory is purely esoteric, rather than being grounded in biological science. The idea of evolving to have more chromosomes does not align with our current understanding of genetics and evolution. So, 46 and 2 stands as a testament to Tool's ability to merge complex themes with intense musicality, leaving us with questions that linger long after the final note fades. The song's exploration of shadow work and personal evolution is not just a concept, but a challenge to each of us. So now, ask yourself, what shadows within you are ready to be confronted and what lies on the other side of that transformation. And keeping on with the dark stories and hidden messages, allow me to show you an album that combines the dark history of the Black Death, plagues and satanic worshipping with subliminal messages targeted at previous band members. You can check that dark history in my analysis of Ghosts Perkel, where you'll not only learn about the bubonic plague and the superstitions it brought with it, but also about one of the latest legal scandals in modern metal music. Also, don't forget to check out my music, available on every streaming platform. And without further ado, see you on the next video.